speaking of China, uh, we'll do a little coronavirus update here uh, right now. Still operating, I'm still operating on the premise that the fear of the coronavirus is likely to be as or more destructive than the virus itself. That's still the operating premise subject to change. Um, it's an interesting uh, moment we're in. Because uh, I don't, I'm not sure what percentage of people are aware. I, I don't know what percentage of people have decided and will never change their mind no matter what that coronavirus is no big deal. And, and they're just, they've concluded it's no big deal and it will always be no big deal. I have, I have a hunch that it's probably 40% of people. I think that's, that's a lot, right? 40% of people, I think, believe it's uh, completely overblown and no big deal whatsoever. Uh, and then there's also a percentage of people that are on the other side who think we're all going to die, right? Now, that's not me. I'm not either of those. My position for now is I think the virus is pretty bad. It could be much, much worse. I'm grateful it's not, but pretty bad. Uh, and I think governments are going to react with a, a heavy hand and a heavier hand as this goes on. And that's what you need to prepare for. And I hope I'm, I'm, I'm clear on that. So, so on, on, the, on the spectrum, so over here, you have no big deal. Stop talking about it, Slater. And then over on this other extreme, you have maybe this doctor. This is Richard uh, Hatchett from the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations. Here's what he says. I've, I've been working on epidemic preparedness for about... 20 years, and uh, completely dispassionately, without without elevating the temperature or speaking hyperbolically, um, this is the most frightening disease I've ever encountered in my career, and that includes Ebola, it includes MERS, it includes SARS, and it's frightening because of the combination of infectiousness and a lethality that is appears to be many-fold higher than flu. So you're with me on the spectrum, right? So some people, no big deal, totally overblown, it's nothing. And then this guy, worse than Ebola, SARS, MERS. Okay, so that's that's the one, let's call that guy a 10. Was the other, one to 10. Uh, maybe less than that is, is Michael Osterholm. He's, uh, I don't know, maybe he'd be like an eight. Uh, he's the author of a book called Deadliest Enemy, Our War Against Killer Germs. He was on uh, Rogan's podcast the other day. Here's what he says about it. So from this perspective, I can understand why people would say, well, wait a minute, flu kills a lot more itself every year than this does. And I remind people this just was beginning. Probably the best guesstimate we have right now on what limited data we have is say, this is going to be at least 10 to 15 times worse than the worst seasonal flu year we see. 10 to 15 times worse in terms of fatalities? Or? Yeah, yeah, and, and just illness. In fact, I just I brought some numbers. We uh, conservatively estimate that this could... In, uh, require 48 million hospitalizations, 96 million uh, cases actually occurring, over 480,000 deaths that can occur over the next three to seven months with this situation. So this is not one that to take lightly. Yeah, okay. Usually sick about 60,000 flu deaths, and he's talking almost half a million, right? That's pretty serious. So like that's why I give that analysis. That's I don't I don't even know if. If I'm on board with that yet, to be honest, I don't even know if I think it's, it's going to be that bad. I mean, what, what would I really know, right? But we'll call that guy an eight. So if that's an eight, I'm like a, a 5.5 on my made-up scale. Uh, I'm concerned virus-wise more for my mom, right? She's over the age of 70. She had had a couple trips planned. She probably won't do them. Uh, personally, I'm not concerned about my family and, and the virus. Uh, and I'm also, I'm also not that concerned about my family in forced quarantines because we're prepared. We have what we need. And if nothing else comes out of this whole virus thing, maybe it can just be a good kick in the pants to do what you know you need to do and what you know you should have done a long time ago when it comes to preparing for any natural disaster or something like this. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe. We got plenty.